it. Are you ready to discuss the market today, guys? We are ready to go. We are ready to do this. I got this cool little toy here. Look at this. No shot. You got the volume. No shot. Always. Look at this thing. Woo! It's time for the bullish market. I'm not even going. To... I got a new toy, guys. Look at this. Look at this. Woo! It's so cool. I don't know why I find it so interesting. It's like a silver ball. If this is what I get. This is my crystal ball. I'm getting all the stocks. All right. That's where it is. Yeah, man. So how's everybody feeling, man? If you're in, if you're in the building, say hello. You know what the deal is. We got to get ready. We got to get this going. Um, we got a lot to talk about as usual. You know the deal. Elliot, how you been, man? Good. Yeah? Fairly busy. Fairly, Fairly busy. busy. Fairly I like busy. the busy. All right, there's 21 people in here right away. Say hello if you're in here. I want to see you say hello. We've got a lot to talk about, man. We've got a lot, lot, lot to talk about today. We have been killing it. We are at 100% ratio for the month. It's been pretty good. So let's keep it going. Who cares about if something's going on in the world? We could still make money doing it. Uh, Christopher Matthew, Marcus Mary, say hello, Miguel, what's up, man, Andy Livingston, how are you, Crystal Butler, what's up, I'm a guy, said hello, guy, hello, Christian guy. Cordoba, what's up, cuz, Brian Johnson, how are you, Lori, Lori's in the building, what's mm -hmm. up, Lori, Brian Norris, Nate Russell, welcome, welcome, um, Dominic Bell, how are you, Dutch Lundy, say hello, big money move, let's do it. Uh, Val, what's up, brother Johnny Harwell? Man, a lot of people in here. Guys, sorry, we got to say hello to Audley Martin, Zachary Fuller. What up, John Mante? What's up? What's up? Uh, lots to talk about, lots to do. Again, guys, talk about a great freaking time. We were 10 for 10 on all profitability. You don't believe me? Go check it out. Every single stock, we could look it over, whatever. But today, we got a ton of stuff to go over. Let's first get into it. Let's not waste any time. You guys are here at 2 p.m. Eastern. I appreciate it. And if you're not and you're on a replay, say hello. And hey, comment replay below because I want to know my replay people. But what the market has been doing was exactly what I told you was going to happen. And we're going to really review exactly what to do in a market like this. Because this is what I told you this week. Remember what I told you. This is the week. And today, something magical happened. So let's review what I've been saying, and let's go into exactly what's been happening. I told you we were waiting for this to blow up. How many times did you see me draw this line? Mm -hmm. It blew up. <laughs> did it not blow up exactly like we said it's going to do? That's what we're all about, is helping you guys make the right moves. Jonathan Smith, what's up, guys? And again, guys, everything we go over today, there's a nice explanation to everything, okay? You want the basics. So we have a guy named Anthony... Uh, O'Neill and we got Dave Gorbia in here. They work with our team. They're willing to give you a free webinar that's going to give you my six steps to make money. So if you need that, comment webinar below. If you're new here, definitely recommend you comment below for sure. So overall, guys, the market was bullish one day, two days, three days, four days, five days. I told you Tuesday's going to come. It's going to be crazy. There it is. Mm -hmm. And I think we're not done. There's definitely some room. That There's definitely stubborn. some room. Now, you got to be careful, right? Because now, right now we are hitting this res resistance. I told you the bullish days, but I'm also going to tell you what's going on. We might see we might see a little bit of a retracement. We might see because it's been hitting this point, and we might see a little bit of this coming down. It's healthy. I think 440 this is the spot. It might go up. If it breaks, we're good to go. All right? Wizards of Wall Street. Oh, I like that. <laughs> WWS. Welcome. Thank you. Uh, Dutch, we are stealing that. Wizards of Wall Street. Johnny Howell. Johnny, Jonathan Paul. Every single J in here is getting their webinar. <laughs> Lee Smith, you as well. We got you. So we're going to have somebody reach out to you right now. If it's any, Dave Gorbia or Anthony O'Neill will reach out to you. Anybody else, it's not us. There's a lot of fraudsters. Be careful. We don't want anybody getting scammed. That's the last thing we want. So please, if anybody reaches out to you and tell you, hey, join my Telegram, join my WhatsApp. We've had people who have accounts being stolen. Please be careful. We have not had that in our group and we try to avoid it. But I'm sure there's too much going on with that. Chris Luker, J Jeff Townsend, what's up? So again, exactly what we called out is exactly what's happening. 
I'm telling you right now, we might see a little bit of a downturn, possibly a small one before it goes up. If it does break, we got a good situation. I hope you listened to me last week. You played all 30 stocks this <laughs> month that I called out. We're at 100% ratio right now. Or you, you heard me saying it's going to be bullish. Pay attention once it broke this. If you And if you want to go back and reference some of our videos, we have a bunch of lives here already. By all means, you are more than welcome to do so, of course. So that's cool with me, guys. Um, hope everybody's feeling good. Now, the, this part of the show is where we go over your stocks, people who are picking their stocks. If you're interested in us going over any stock with you, please comment below your stock, and I will tell you exactly what I think about it. And that's how we choose. The more you give me, the more favorites of mine I'm going to give you. We try to give you a minimum of five, depending on the week. So far, we, I think we've never given you less than five. So last week we had one in one day, I gave you 10 and all 10 were good. So does that mean I'm not going to ever lose? That's not what I'm saying here. What I'm saying is I just haven't lost. <laughs> it's going to happen. Everybody loses at some point. But right now we are on a roll since we started actually counting. So we're going to continue doing so. All right, cool. So let's get into this, guys. All right. So if you have a stock you want me to check out for you, let me know. Okay, I would love to go over it with you. Do we have, we've got we NVIDIA. Four, so. All right, so we got four stocks. Don't be shy, guys. I am not leaving it until every single stock is gone over. And I'm going to let you know what I think of each one and which one do I think is going to be a good old lady that's going to take us to the next land, if there's any, which I think there will be. So let's do this. We got, uh, What's up, Mark Cunningham? Rohi Doobie. What's up, brother? Es Boucher Ron, always joining us. Brian Norris, always joining us, man. Christian, one of our elite members coming in. So let's do this, guys. So the first step we're going to look at is AM. Okay, so AM is, so this one, I like this stock for a few reasons because of how consistent it is. Now, here's the thing about our show. I'm not just going to tell you if I like it. Maybe we need a little bit more to it. This stock is hitting a very strong resistance every single time. So right now, probably the worst time to get into the stock because w w guess what? It's hit once here, twice here. This is the third time and it's rejecting. If it breaks, we got some great things on this, but you don't want to be the person who guesses because if you guess wrong, oh, the pain and agony you will feel. Yeah, that'll hurt. It, it'll hurt. <laughs> you want to be the person who guesses it right and not guesses it. You want to have confirmation. And everything we do is very predictable. There's a reason why we're at 100% ratio is because it's predictable. I'm telling you right now, we need to see this and don't fall into it. Don't let anybody fool you. We need to see this at 10.8. If it hits 10.8, you're going to see the stock go to 11.3. Okay. Now, if you have any questions on that, again, that's why the webinar is there. We help you break this down. Okay. So check this out. I think this is going to be in a good place right here. Good place right here. 10.8. Do not invest anything before that. I will say what I do like, there's a lot of volume here. So, but it's already been accelerating through that volume. I think we still have some room, but we need confirmation or else things could get really ugly. So confirmation, we're golden. Cool, cool, cool. All right, so AM, I'm gonna say watch list. M, Macy's. All right, M, same thing with M guys. So M is very similar. It's in a channel. So that's what that's called, a channel. And you can see, uh, let me get this one going here. Now, this one here, I told you I liked it before. And it, when it broke out here, and then we did play this one, and we did hit this pop point. And then for obvious reasons, guess what? It hit this resistance, so it's ready to calm down. Right now, this is called a doji. Again, guys, if this is a doji, I'm going to tell you what I'm going to do right now. A lot of you guys have been here for a while. If you've watched my webinar, and only if you watch my webinar, I'm and you haven't seen my Predator course, it's a five hundred dollar course. Okay, if you're interested in that course, and let me know, we might be able to have something special for you today. So let me know if you're interested. Just comment course below, and Anthony is going to reach out to you, Anthony or David, to help you out um, with that. But let me know first, because we, we could only give away a limited amount. Uh, anybody who's been here more than five times are, are, are qualified. All right, cool. So what's up, Benish? How are you, man? 
All right, all right. So look at like, so this is a doji. This is a sign of indecision. So you got to be careful with that. This is probably going to be coming down a little bit. Um, I can't imagine it keep going up right now. In fact, I think this is going to come down a little bit. Uh, would I bet on it 100%? No, but not something I would invest right now. We're looking for this at this point to hit probably, in my opinion, 30. And if it hits 32, we might be in really good shape. But 30 at least to get this really going. Where to next? Well, we got NVIDIA. NVIDIA. All right. NVIDIA, again, I think we called this out last time. This is one of my 30 stocks and we killed it. But again, doesn't mean it's going to happen right away. Doesn't mean it's going to happen right away. So if you're commenting course, all right, what we could do is we're setting up, uh, if you haven't had a, we're doing a, a special right now. We have some people who are interested in getting into our coaching program and things like that. So what we're doing is if you're commenting course, if you're interested in getting interviewed for a coaching program, we have, I, I think for right now we're opening up April. So we have like eight spots. So if you're interested in coaching at all, we're doing an interview. After the interview, whether you like it, whether it's for you or not, we are going to provide you the Predator course absolutely free. And even uh, 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 we're going to give you a trial for our full membership, which gives you a lot of content. I mean, it's like Netflix of content. So if you're interested, and I'm going to let you, and I apologize, I gave you the wrong thing. Just comment coaching below, and we could set that up for you. My apologies, anybody who wrote course, I was a little unclear I'm sorry about that. My apologies. I'm talking too quick. So yeah, if you're interested in coaching, we are providing you, uh, we set up the interview for you. If it doesn't work out for you, not a big deal. It's not for everybody, but we'll still provide you the Predator course, totally free and some of the membership as well. Boom on the downplay. Okay, cool. So this one here, like I said, broke down nicely. Um, as far as the downplay, I don't know oh, just no, no, no. yet. Um, boom's a stop. Oh, oh boom. I'm sorry. That's a boom on the downplay. <laughs> yeah, this one right now <clears throat> is definitely hitting this resistance here. So we have to wait for it to break out. I think it's in good position. We just got to see it hit 280. I think if it even 275, 280 could be in a very good position for it to keep going up. But we have to wait for that to happen. Where to next? Uh, we got Lucid, LCID. LCID. Ah, now Lucid, my friend. Lucid. Show me the money. So Lucid's looking all right. This might be a good one, but I'm not sure yet, right? Because we were hitting this point here, and the volume, ah, the volume's too low, man. There's a good momentum. I think long term, this is going to look good, but I can't put it on a favorite list because the volume is key, and it's yeah. not doing that hot right now. So again, guys, if you're interested in the Predator course we have, it's a five-module course, really good. If and if you're interested in coaching, if you comment coaching, we could set up an interview for you. And if not, no big deal. Uh, if you get the coaching, if you sign up just for the interview, we're going to get you the free uh, course either way. And one month of our membership, totally free. So on this one right here, I think if it breaks, we could have something good around 28. But realistically, I want to tell you right now, you want to put this on the watch list yeah. and let it hit 32. Let me see 32, right? Watch this thing hit 32. If it hits 32, let me know. But I'm telling you right now, this thing's going to go to the moon or whatever you want to call those things. But I think that really leads to a good situation for sure. And right here, actually, even 30, yeah, 32, yeah. it breaks a huge resistance, breaks a 200-day moving average. 50-day moving average. I'm going to tell you right now, when you see that happen, this stock is going to be going. And you, you've already probably, if you've been here for a while, you know I'm pretty good at calling these things. What's next? Um, we have Apple. Apple. I'm liking Apple a lot, man. I'm liking, I actually called out Apple for one of our clients. So it looks like Apple to me just broke this part now. So it's looking pretty strong. It's continuing to be strong. Could I see a little bit of a downturn? Yes but I have a good feeling and I like it. And I think I would go with this one. There's too much volume still. There's too much going on. I'm putting this in my favor, yeah. Apple. Apple this week is gonna be in a good situation. Now we could see a little of a downturn, but I really, really <laughs> doubt it, man. Big it app. just broke 50 day moving a day average. I'm a fan of it. Very good play uh, going on my list. Where to next? BMBL, Bumble. BMBL, all right. So this one here, um, mm -hmm. again, so this one broke through and you gotta, gotta understand something like this here. It had a very strong move here. It went up, 
very nicely, but it's now falling into these dojis, which is which is a consolidation, very decreased volume. So this is what you got to be careful with when you pick stocks like this. Uh, they, the stocks go up, but at any point, because it went up in low volume, there's not enough gas for it. That's why it looks like it's going to keep coming. It, I think it's going to reverse to the downside. Which right. next? Costco. Costco. Costco's looking all right, but again, same thing. There's a lot of volume, so there's a lot of promise here. A lot of promise here. So we're looking for it to break the 570 mark. If it breaks 570, we could have, have a good situation. However, right now, looks like to me it's forming a little consolidation over here. Too much indecision. Volume's coming down a little bit, so I would wait. I can wait. They have great coaches, great content. Oh, thank you, man. I appreciate it, Christian. And yeah, Christian is actually one of our members here. He just joined not too long ago. Welcome, Christian, and thank you for your support. Um, all right, so yeah, you want to see this kind of breakthrough right there for sure. What's your next, sir? Uh, LRCX. LRCX. Uh, what'd you do? Oh, I thought that was my fault. LRCX. Oh, okay. So LRCX could be a good one. I like what I'm seeing. I, so it had a very strong downturn here. Looks like it broke through that downturn coming up. I, oh man, this, I, I like this one. There's some good momentum, right? I mean, overall, I know this is we're seeing a little bit of inversion. So let's check out a little bit careful here. Yeah, I was see, where does that, okay. Yeah, so you see, I think, so to me, here's what I'm thinking of this one. I think it, I like it, but I think we, it might come down a little bit of a retracement to 520, possibly 510. I would say probably 520, maybe 5, yeah. around here, and then it's going to go up because it's too, a little too stretched and the volume's coming and decreasing. So when we see two, a bunch of strong days like that, usually, like I said, it might have a few strong days, but you'll see a little bit of this. So you, I would wait because what the last thing you want to do is have these huge days and then a drop off. And that's just how history is. And yeah, guys, if you like what you're seeing and you want to get more, you, I would recommend watching my one hour webinar. Just comment webinar below so we could send it to you. Okay, it's totally uh, included. I see Dave throwing a stock in there. Let's look at Atex. Yeah. What, what do you got for us, Dave? Dave's got, so Dave's got something for us that's, um, you know, a stock. That's what that is. The problem with this one is it's called, it's going into this, uh, it, you know, upward consolidation. Now, this could be huge, but it could not be. And what you're noticing here, there's this red line. This is the 200-day moving day average, and a lot of stocks will bounce off of it. So it's, it's constantly bouncing off, bouncing off. So we're right now at risk of it bouncing off. The other issue is it's doing it on decreasing volume, very flat in the momentum. So it's not something I would recommend trading right now because it could hurt bad if it goes down. So I would wait. So to, for me to see this go, I would say around 60, even 61 would be a good move. Because if you look at 61, that's around, it's breaking this resistance. Yeah. I think that could be a good uh good move in the right direction so guess what we are in a part of a show the heartbreak show the heartbreak piece of the show where april castillo's in the building she's going to show you how fast her hand really is <laughs> by giving us hearts so we, we like to see people give us some hearts if you're enjoying the show if you're not enjoying the show just sit there and just watch but i really appreciate because we like to see some nice hearts look at victor victor right in the lead so we're trying to get 288 hearts today that's the magic number that will be whoa oh guys whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa dude that's like the fastest one i've seen so far thank you for the hearts anybody who's giving us a lori victor um a few other people i see it's hard for me to read all of them brian norris thank you april where's your hand man i know you got the fastest hand of them all you know, um, thank you, thank you, appreciate it, guys. Thank you so much. Like I'm uh, Bob Benish, I see you in here. Ace, I see you in there. Brian Norris kicking butt with some of these. Lori, as usual, in the building. Thank you, thank you, guys. And listen, if you're interested, like I said, we have some great paid clients in here. Bob Benish, we got um, Lori, everybody who I truly appreciate for joining us and trusting us. You know, Lori getting making a not 100 grand in three months. Those are the type of results we want to see with you guys. So if you're interested in coaching, comment coaching below. Thank you for the hearts. Let's continue the show. All right, let's get this going. Woo, I'm feeling good today. <laughs> I'm feeling good. I've given, especially when I give the wrong screen out, huh? <laughs> what? It happens. It happens, bro. All right. So let's get back into this. 
The next stock we're going to look at is uh, BLNK. B oh. Thank you for the look at that. Look at all the likes we're getting. I'm going to, I don't have my dog today either, oh. man. I had to bring Bella, Bella today. She was upset. All right, Blink. Who's giving me Blink? Uh, oh, who's that guy oh, with the, man. oh man, I'm sorry. I don't know that name. Is that Christian? Yeah, Christian. Yeah, thank uh, you. Got, it's Christian. Thank you for all the hearts, guys. I appreciate it, man. We like the love. Thank you. Yeah, okay. So this one right here, if you notice, I'm liking this. Mm -hmm. Hashtag favorite right on this. And I'll show, oh, wait, whoa. What's going on with that volume, man? We all right. Another, what, two hours maybe? We got uh, a few hours. I'm going to say I like this one. But here's the thing about this one. It looks like right now it's hitting yeah. resistance Ooh. right here, man. So it looks good. Uh, almost the problem with this is I would need a little more confirmation because a lot of times when you see this, yeah. that's a small amount of volume compared to what it's been doing. Uh, very flat here. I'm going to say I like it, but it's hard for me to just confirm it because mm -hmm. the confirmation of volume is not there. I'm going to say it's my favorite one I've seen. I'm going to say, I think it is going to go up a dollar or two, but I wouldn't be like overly, oh man, I don't know if I put my uh, streak on the line in that one. Just because of that volume situation. What's up, Rohit, with the Netflix and the Nova Vex? Where to next? <laughs> uh, shop. Yo, you guys gave me a lot of stocks. We got to get this going. All right. So I told you about shop before. I think it was one of my picks. I liked it and you could see why. Hopefully you guys made some money, whoever asked me about it. Uh, but right now, like I said, it, it went up and now it's coming down. I think you're going to see a little bit of a consolidation situation before anything else. Uh, it just, you know, it, it needs a little bit of a retracement, but I think long-term we're looking good. I would chill out with this one until we see it now at around 850 first. Once it gets to 850, we could start riding the wave again. Again, it's all about that entry point and the exit point. So if you have any issues with that and you've been losing money because you don't know when to get out, definitely, definitely recommend book a call with us or at least watch the webinar comment webinar below. It'll give, <clears throat> give you a good understanding. What's next? Uh, we have Ford. Ford. Uh, Ford, uh, Ford. Okay. So what does Ford have here? Ford, uh, you know, people have been asking me about Ford a lot and I told you I'm not liking it until I see it break through these. It's beginning to break. Keep this on your list now. Now you want to keep it on the list because it just broke 17. I like where it's at. I like where it's at, but it's still at this point right here. And it's trying to go through, watch it carefully because tomorrow might be the day where it gets to 18. Once it gets 18, I would I would get in on this. But we have to get to 18 first. You got A next. What is it? Well, A. Oh, we're just doing single digits, single letters mm -hmm. today? Uh, a, so A4, a, a, was it a legion? No, Agilent Technology. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, so Agilent Technology. So you could see here, guys, this broke through this trend and this was a good time to get in. Right now, it's again, we got to see where it's at because sometimes it's good, sometimes it's not. I'm waiting for it to break this, I guess. Uh, yeah, man. Seems fair. Yeah, yeah. yeah, right there. Yeah. So if it gets, it's very close, mm -hmm. very, very close. It may come to a theater near you. We need to see this at a 143, 140. Oh, man. And then you got this channel yeah, there's a, here. There's a, couple there's a few there. channels here. So I would say 146 on this one. And I think we'll get to 152 from there. But you got to get to that area. Where to next? Uh, OCDX. 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 So let's see what we got here. OCDX. So you got this coming up like this. It's coming. So this is kind of forming this uh, rising wedge kind of thing. Um, but there's just not enough volume on this, guys. You got to be very careful when there's not enough volume. That means you're going to continue seeing these bounces and you just won't time it right. And that's the problem with something like that. Kelly Myers in the building. Hey, congratulations, Kelly. I saw you join our our elite uh, coaching. Elliot is ready to for, for you to work with him, man. We're excited yeah. to have you. So again, let's all welcome Kelly to our elite group where she's going to be going live with us like seven times a week. We'll be really dig deep into things. She's going to be part of our mastermind group. She's going to be in it all, man. So Kelly, welcome, welcome, welcome. Really happy to have you. Give, what, give her some love, man. Come on, Elliot. Don't be shy. I know you get shy. Come on. Uh, Welcome. You're going to meet Lori. You're going to meet Bob. You're going to meet Christian. You're going to meet a lot of people here. So we're here all to support you. To LAC. get you to your goals, huh? LAC. LAC. Oh, wait a minute. Who gave us LAC? 
Uh, uh, this might be Ron, this is from the elite group. From the okay, so this is the type of things you're gonna find in elite groups. People who are looking for this type of stuff, I like this. We got strong volume. I think we're not done yet. Um, we got a great momentum. Of course, you got with this the elite group, man. Absolutely. Uh, um, yeah, this is a good one. I'm putting this in my favorite LAC on the list, my friends. On the list, very good stock. Great job by the elite group. Great job to taking the right coaching. Brian Norris, uh, thank you for thanking. All right, guys, let's keep this moving. Um, Doc, you Doc, you. Chris Luker, we got you on the webinar. Dave or Anthony will reach out to you. Ooh, now I told you about DocU. Did I not warn you? This is going to be a good one. And you could see it going through. And I, in fact, I think we're not done yet. I think this is hitting a nice point here. I think it keeps going. I'm putting DocU on my list to make it again. Good stuff. Very good stuff. I'm a fan. What's next? Uh, we have Boom. To the, Boom, downside, to the downside. Ah, okay. So this is an interesting one. I, I see, who gave it to us, by the way? Uh, Zach. Zach uh, Fuller. Fuller yep. Okay. I see what you're saying here, and I might like what you're saying here. So I'm going to put a Fibonacci in here. So here's what you got to be careful with, Zach. If it goes up and it's coming to the 38%, there's a good chance, especially with something <clears throat> that just had such a high volume, you might see a bounce here. You might. So to prevent that, you call and you tell them not to do it. No, I'm kidding. That'd be cool if you could do that. But to really avoid that type of situation, I would wait because it's, it's bouncing off this line. So it's one of the things I teach in my webinar that you could get for free. But uh, again, guys, if you, uh, before we continue talking about this, another member here, Felix Vega, was able to leave his job. He's right there. He's able to leave his banking job, and now he's trading with and he plays disc golf, which by the way, if you're interested in disc golf, he has an amazing Ace Run Pro Productions channel. You should check it out. Really good guy. You guys can more than welcome, reach out to him and ask him what he thinks about the coaching. Um, we're very transparent here. So I would say, wait for it to get through this 31 here and calm down. And Felix, man, I really like your stuff. If you could for, do me a favor, um, can you post your YouTube channel? If you don't mind, check out his, if you've never seen this golf before, it's just cool to watch, man. It's so different. It's so different, man. I, I thought it's really cool. So it, I think it's Ace Run Pro Productions or something like that. I was, I was obsessed watching it. It's, bro, you got to check out the yeah, sport. It's, the it's really, really cool. Yeah. So if you could post it so other people could check it out, you're more than welcome to, I'd, I'd love, I'd love to share new sports with people. Uh, can. I can. Uh, so canister, I don't know, cannon, I was close to <laughs> the canister company. Let's see. Um, so this one is a little all over the place. Uh, there's some volume here. I'm not going to put on my favorite. So I, I would say if, if you want to invest in this, I, it's a good time to invest in it. I just don't like stocks that are this cheap because it could throw us off a little bit, but <clears throat> It's not bad. It's not bad. I can see why there's some good volume in it, some good things going on. So, yeah. Uh, thanks, Felix. I appreciate it. Yeah, guys, if you're interested, if you're not, that's fine, too. But just to check out a cool sport, I think it's really cool, man. Um, what's next? C-Y-R-N. C-Y-R-N. All right. So, Kyron, um, again, nobody likes to feel rejected. Who likes to feel rejected in here? Anybody? <laughs> You know, if you don't watch Felix's channel, he'll feel rejected. But that's okay, Felix. He lived. But what we're not going to do is have this red line reject us. And it keeps rejecting us because it's a 200-day moving average. It lets you know that this stock wants to be bullish. We all want to be bullish. But sometimes, just because you want to be bullish, you're still full of bull. <laughs> so we need to see this break. And until it does, <clears throat> I'd be careful. Personally, I don't like the stock at all. I think it's, it's just too many crazy moves. And too vol volatile. There's not enough history here of consistency for me. So I'm out. Where to next? Yeah. O R I. O R I. Ooh. No, we're not going to do that. <laughs> yeah. O R I. All right. O R I. O R I is looking all right here. So O R I 
looks like right here. This is really the magic number right here we're trying to get to. So 27 is really what we're looking at to really break through this. I think there's some good potential here for sure. Uh, I like what I'm seeing here. we got the golden cross. I think we got a good move over here. If we're seeing a switch in the histogram, we just need to see confirmation. Right now we have a, a inverted hammer, so that's not an inverted candle really, which is a, a sign of not going up. But if it breaks to 27, we might see, oh, we're gonna see some all time highs. And I think it's gonna form something called an A to B, B to C, C to D pattern. But we need to get to the 27 first to get there. Um, D pro. D pro. Uh, yeah, so this one right here has a big gap. First of all, it's a cheap stock. So a lot of times these are like going to be like these type of uh, uh, pharmaceutical things or biochemical things. So um, when you see this big gap, usually means it's some news related. And you can see it hit the 200 day moving average and now it's coming down. Stay away from this. This is strictly a gamble, in my opinion. We got What's up, Danielle Sanj? Can I say hello to the Danielle Sanjali? Charles Morris, what's up? Carrie Boven Pruner, got you on the day on the option. We'll check it out. Welcome everybody. Definitely say hello if you're new. And if you're watching a replay, comment replay below. What next? Uh, oh, me. Sorry. Affirm. AFRM. AFRM. All right. AFRM could be good. Could be good. I like the momentum to the upside, but we got something happening right now, guys. Be careful. Mm -hmm. It's hitting this resistance, which could be a problem. Um, so my next, to, for me to feel safe on this one, I could say, yeah, break this, <clears throat> but then we got something else to be here going on. So there's a couple things going on in this stock. There's a little bit of a downtrend here. So it broke that, um, but it's still over here. Personally, I would like to see it above the 50 day moving average to be safe, which is 55. Until it gets 55, I'm not trading it. The volume is looking good though. So definitely something I would put on the watch list. Um, HLBZ. A, well, I'm sorry, H, what is that? Yeah, H-L-B-Z. H-L-B-Z. Uh, if you're busy, just let me know, that's fine. Uh-oh. Uh, yeah, so this one's just way below its 50-day moving day average. Uh, just the volume, just everything here is not something I would trade. The stock is um, just doesn't have enough consistency, too cheap. Not something I personally trade, sorry guys. Uh, we have Netflix. Netflix, I like Netflix, let's check it out. Uh, Omar Abdul, what's up, man? How are you? Um, you man, uh, you know, Netflix used to be the stock and it's just trying to figure it out. Uh, you know, they're actually trying to do some other stuff now where they, do you see what they're trying to do now? No. They, they're trying to figure out a way. I think they have already where you can't share your passwords. You got to pay to share your passwords. Some crazy stuff. A lot of people will be very disappointed. I'll just buy the two screen upgrade. I guess. Um, so yeah, so this what? one here, um, man, yeah, just not happening right now for the stock. I mean, yeah, it did have a little bit of an upswing, but we're talking about some major low volume on it. Uh, just in a lot of inconsistencies. I think it might actually see, you might see it coming down a little bit more. Where's your next? We have um, Novavax. It might be N-O-V-X. N-V-A-X. NVAX, same kind of thing. So NVAX, you know how you could be in between jobs right now? It's in between averages right now. So it's, it's been kind of hitting these. I feel like it's kind of coming close to here, which could be dangerous, unless of course it breaks it. Then we got a good situation. Based on what I'm seeing here, I would say, um, oops, I would say on this one here, I would say right around here. So you get this to 105 guys, we got, we got a good situation there. Thank you for the likes, man. Thank you, Omar. I appreciate that, bro. Thank you. And if you if you like the show, definitely we'll, we don't we we're, we're not okay, we're not bad with uh, accepting hearts like that. See, man. Oh, he gives us some hearts. I appreciate that. Thank you, everybody who gives us all the hearts. Uh, uh, see, we got a few other people here. Thank you. Very nice of you. Where to next? Glob. G L O B. G L O B. All right, so Glob, it could be a good thing, but you gotta be very careful with stocks like this, man. Huh? At, uh, 137. Yeah, so this stock, if you notice here, is 137,000 volume. That's a very small amount of volume, which could be a problem for something like this. Any little thing could throw it off, and that's why you see these crazy volatile jumps. So it's very hard to predict something like this. That's why I stay away from things like this. Not a bad situation. It's very expensive. 
there's too much going on with it and a very something that expensive i mean you, um there are some good things i see yeah. on it i just get concerned when i see the volume so low mm. so i would not and, and then here's the other part of it and if you it not only is it low it's decreasing yeah. it's continuing to decrease so that's a big problem for me what's next uh we got pan w pan w yeah, I think it's like Ooh. Internet security. pan w is looking okay here Pan W might be something here. I was looking at the options for it yesterday. So we got A to B, B to C, C to D pattern forming. Oh man. Um let's see here. I don't know, bro. Nice. It's looking good. It's looking it's good. A the only... contract, but I don't know if there's any. Yeah, looking... this one's not too bad. I'm gonna say, do I want to give it the problem is I have with it? The volume's not too crazy. Yeah. And so that's my only thing with this one. Overall, I like it. I think uh, if you're okay with dropping it a little bit and understand that, look, we had a big day, it might come down a little bit for a few days until it goes back up. So that's my only issue with it. But overall, I like it. So I don't know. That's a little torn with the sand, this one. I want to say, yeah. <laughs> but if it finishes at 610, which is a good area code. Uh, mm -hmm. If it finishes at 610 today, if it goes back up, I would say yes. If it does not, I would say no. Fair. Where's your next? Um, Tesla. Tesla. Listen, I like Tesla. I actually called this out personally. Mm. Remember I told you about this one? Um, I think Tesla's big. Everything that's going on, you know, fundamentally, I, I liked it right here. And that's exactly where me and you mm. talked about it. And now that it's breaking through, I think I'm going to say I like it. I'm going to put on my favorites for sure. Um, I feel confident with this one. It was just at 9.50 an hour ago. <laughs> I, I feel very Literally. confident in this one. I'm going to put this as a as a like. Put it as a, in my favorites. Let's do this. Oh, yeah, with that. Okay. Where's next? Um, WLK. Yeah, it's looking very strong. WLK. Um, not a fan. Not a fan. Very stretched. So you can see here, this is called a rising wedge pattern which a lot of times, once it goes to that area, it starts coming down. You're already seeing this. It's just too stretched from the moving day averages. I think this thing is going to drop to 118 before we see any kind of upswing at all. Oh, you guys are, got some homework picks in here. All right. Mm -hmm. Where's your next? Um, Baba, black sheep, have you any wool? Ah, I see what you did there. Uh, blah, blah, blah. So again, this is gonna be, there's a lot of things going on with the international things. So investing into China, you gotta be very careful with things like this. Like I get a little scared with that. Uh, it's hitting this point right there. Um, personally, I don't know. I'm just not a fan of these stocks fundamentally right now, you know, cause there's news and things like this. So any little thing could throw it off and you could really get in trouble. I would say personally, just for this one, like 140 would be minimal for me to start trading. I would even say, let's get back to 170. You want the stock to be healthy. It's a Chinese stock. Too much news about it. Be very, very careful when you're trading this. Where's the next one? Um, CCJ. There was a question. Okay. Stretch with a bullish candle. What's your thought? Well, first of all, let's not forget that I called this one out. Yeah. CCJ was the one I actually said. So what day was that? That was sometime last week. So Thursday. What was Thursday? Who could give me the day of Thursday? I'm not good with this uh, stuff. This one, right? Yep, you're on it. All right, so you can see here, I called it out here. So it went from 25 to 30. That's a good play, man. That's one of our one, 10 out of 10 for a reason, right? So this one looks good. <coughs> um, as far as, what was the question you said? Um, what are your thoughts? It's stretched with a bullish candle. Yeah, it's stretched, it's stretched, it's stretched, you're right. So, you know, you already, the party's over. Mm -hmm. The party's over, we're in a doji situation. You know, again, don't ask me, look at the pattern. Every time it goes up, it comes right back down. Every time it goes up, it comes back down. That's what we do. It's called a swing. We're swing trading. I think it's ready to go to the downside for sure. Um, M-U-L-N. This might be one of those uh, yeah, stocks. Uh, M-U-L-N. Yeah. yeah, I'm not a fan of these. It's too cheap. It's, you know, just, you could see it did nothing for so long. And now all of a sudden it's doing things. They, those type of stocks end up not so hot. Uh, net, N E T. NET could be a good potential. So it's got a nice move today. I like what I'm seeing there. Uh, as far as now, you got to be careful because it's hitting this point. 
realistically, this is the type of stock you want to see break 137. You get this to 140. You got to have patience with that. There's so many stocks. Don't chase. All right. So don't chase. That's one of the things we teach it. Get it to 140. And then we could talk. Get it to 140. So above all the averages. And then this thing is going to do some wonders for you. Whoa, wait, 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 stop giving me more stocks, bro. We're in the heartbreak time. <laughs> All right, guys, a little heartbreak time action. Who here is enjoying the show? Let me get some hearts. Let me get some hearts. And if you've gotten some wins in us with us, comment wins. I want to see who here is winning. Who is winning? Let me see some winning comments. And then you know, I hate it when I drink something and there's no water in it. This one. Nice. This thank one. you, Lori. Thank you, everybody. More than that. Yeah, we got backup. <laughs> All right. Thank you, guys. Appreciate it. Mm. Got to get some water. Yeah, Ace Bush got some wins in there. Dude, Dutch got some wins in there. Man, we are winning. You know, that's what this group is about. Positivity and wins and smiles and kumbayas and all that stuff. I enjoy. I enjoy everybody here. This is our chance to just chill out, have fun. Lori, you better put winning. You better put winning. Mm -hmm. Lori is one of my uh, all-time faves, man. One of our originals. She was here when we had like 300. negative 300 people in the group. <laughs> she helped us build this group. Yeah, Felix Vega. Of course, he got some wins. Felix is pretty cool. In fact, you got to see his testimonial. I could, you know, I could definitely provide just comment. Uh, uh, if you want to, uh, if you want to see any of the testimonials, let me know. We definitely have them. Just seeing kind of some of the people, what they are doing. Um, he was a banker, leaving a banker job to be, you know, just to do this. It's pretty cool. Bob Benish is one of our members too. He was, he's an engineer, a former engineer. So appreciate everybody who supports us, man. Seriously, seriously. And invest in us shows that means a lot. And I enjoy doing the show for everybody. So let's continue, man. Thank you. Moho. Moho is next. Moho Jojo. Moho Jojo. Hey. Oh, man. So this is a penny stock. I'm not a fan of penny stocks, guys. Be very careful with things like this. This could really throw you off. Volume's very low. Just not something I would invest in. I'm sorry. Next. Uh, para. P-A-R-A. All right, para, ooh, para, 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 can't you see? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, 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 uh. Um, man, bro, I don't, oh, okay. So I like that it just broke through this. This is really nice here. Uh, it's right here now. Um, Man, I would, I want to say, yeah, but what do you think, man? I just... The volume, here's the thing about this. It looks like it's not, a, it's 11 million in volume. Yeah. Makes you want to say, <laughs> yeah, makes right? Makes you want to say, yeah. Yeah. yeah but how high do we think? High, 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 high. I think it's going to, uh. That's a fair one. I'm going to, you know what? I'm going to risk it. I'm going to say yes on this one. I'm going to say, I know it's a little stretched. Or should I say no? I mean, oh. it, it, it could consolidate for two days. It about. did, yeah. I'm gonna say, yeah, I like it. I, I like it. I, uh, I'm gonna go with this one. Ooh. I know this one's a little tough. It's a little tough, but I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. Do it. I'm gonna give this one a, a bye. All right, cool. Thank you for everybody who with for the winnings, man. Especially Appreciate that. Above 38, I like it even more. Um, above 38, yeah. yeah. At least for that <laughs> short term. Mark that you I'm going to say, you know what? I think give it a week, maybe not right away. Kind of like what CVS did. Yeah. Like CVS, we, we called out. I told you it's going to take some days. It took three days to make it profits. Um, XPO. XPO Logistics. Right yeah, so this one here, be very careful. It looks good, but looks can be very deceiving. It looks like it went up, but now it's hitting this uh, red line, the 200-day moving average, and it did it all on decreasing volume. This is beginning to turn here. Uh, you're seeing a little bit of a turn on the histogram, kind of. Be careful, man. I don't think this one's got in it. I think we're going to see a bit of one of these coming down. Definitely going to have see at least a, a 3 to $5 dollar drop at least. What's up, Michael Kennard? Don't think I don't see you. Say hello. Haven't seen, heard from you in a while. What's next? Frey. F-R-E-Y. Ooh. I love The F-R-E-Y is looking good, but again, that volume, man. So it looks like it's breaking through here. 
right? Broke oh, yeah. through this. I want to say, I, I know the volume's as long as, yeah. So I'm going to say no just because the volume is 704,000. It's oh, a little yeah. too less. Uh, it's not bad. Um, it could go up. I just get a little bit concerned, especially when you're dealing with options and something like this. What's your uh, bros. Bros. Okay. This was a Kelly's. Okay, let's see how okay, let's see how your homework is. Let's see how you did with your homework here. Um, so you got this right here. So you could see here it's hitting this resistance. So you got to be very careful with something like this. <clears throat> it looks okay. The volume's there, good. Mm -hmm. uh, but it's not fully there yet. So this could this is not a bad one, but you also got to remember it's really stretched from its averages now. So for this to really go. We need a lot more volume, and I would say we need to break this line. So at least like 65 with a lot more volume. Good stuff. Oh, you picked para? Okay, all right. Look at you. Sorry, I just saw that one. What's up, Sharon Harding? Good stuff on taking action, uh, Kelly. Mm -hmm. Give you a little like here. Thank you both. Have to go pick up someone from work. Have fun, everyone, and take Thanks, Brian. Appreciate it. Not sure if you're still here, but I'll give you a little like on that as well. Did we review AMX? Jamal Choice. Uh, yeah. Uh, every time Jamal's here, for some reason, Anthony always says hello to him. <laughs> That's his boy. Um, uh, we did not review. Uh, but we might as well, right? Yeah. Yeah, I think it was coming up anyways. Um, so this one, it's not bad, bro. I'm going to say, I know it's a little stretch, but I think it's got some more in it. Yeah, I mean it is. It does have this um, this part right here. Ooh, All right, I'm gonna say let's break that. I don't want to get too uh, crazy here. Uh, I, I'm gonna hear what is it? Jamal's picks AMX. So <clears throat> I I know what you're saying, and it's hard for me to say no. I just need to see a little bit, I guess. I want to say I want to see it go yeah. up, but I've seen things like this come down too, where it's like even CVS, like we called it out. Yeah, it took, but it, it took a couple of days. It took a couple of days, but even you know, ah oh man, I think it's. I need to see it at twenty one. <laughs> I think I need to see it at twenty one, but it's hard, man. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna say I like it for like a, a week, a week, week and a half for this to happen. All right. All right. We're squaring it. Huh? Squaring it? Yeah. Where's the next? Uh, we got Twilio. T W L O. Very good company. All right. Twilio. Look at. Oh, okay. So they got a lot of momentum. It doesn't mean anything yet. So you see this coming up. Here's my problem is you see this coming up, but the volume's coming down. Yeah. So it's, it's running off fumes, and so that's why I can't trade this. I think it's good. it might come down a little. It might come up a little, but it's too much. Uh, um, yeah, I'm not a fan of that. I'm sorry. Not right now. Where's your next? We got um, IIPR. It might be LLPR. Okay, it is II. Innovative. Um, so this one here is stuck. This one here is definitely stuck right now. If you look at this carefully here, you could see it's just like it won't pass the slide. It's got to pass that line, man. You got to pass that. Ryan, Ryan Nelson, what's up? Rob Eden, welcome. Um, yeah, you just got to get past that line to like 210, 215. It, realistically, man, I want this at 230, bro. 230, this thing is going to rock. But for now, 210, I think 215, we got a good little run going. What's your next? Um, I A A. IAA looking like it's coming down again. If we pull up the Fibonacci here, you could see it very nicely. Here's where it went up. So it has some ways to go down. I think we'll see this come down to, oh, what did I do? Uh, I think we're going to see this one come down to at least like 36, 37 before it comes back up. Picking up too. Yeah. Um, Thanks, Justin. AKBA. Akba. So Akba. Let's see what we got with Akba here. So Akba, boom, boom. Yeah, so it, it's um not a fan of totally this type, but it's not too bad. 
I, I will I will mess with this one. I think we need to see this break the 200 day moving day average for us to really get this is this line right here. We want to see it break through. And for me to really feel good about it, because I'm going to be a little picky in this one, it's got to break that. So three, 3.13 is where I want to see this for us to invest in. Where to next? Uh, AA. Did you miss, did we do SWFM? That's the first time I seen it pop up. I don't think we had that one, no. It's here now, though. We put it on the list. Where to next? Um, AAL. Oh, they got a catalyst. I got you. Yeah, I try not to play the catalyst yeah. too much. Those things could go either way. Those could drive you nuts. Uh, so this one here mm -hmm. looks like it's coming down here. Um, again, it's getting rejected by the 50-day moving day average. So it's stuck here. Again, uh, I need to see it break here. <clears throat> so there's two places here, either here or the 200-day moving day average. Right now, I need to see it past 18 to be able to make a decision. Right. Elliot, did you get the ones I sent from Lori? Where to next? Uh, GIS. GIS, no, not right now. It's bouncing off here. We need to see it come back up. Not in a good position. It's just riding the 200-day moving day average. Uh, could be something good because of that momentum, but that's a lagging indicator. So we have to wait. We have a lot to wait on this one. Um, CIBR. Oh, okay. CIBR might be something here for us. CIBR. All right. So CIBR is right at that point right now where we could see something good. It's just tough because of the it's yeah. decreasing in volume now. So I think we I think we're gonna see it come down first before we go up. It might have a little bit of a run. It might, but it's hard to say because the volume is decreasing. And if it does, I think it'll get rejected by 53 and a half. <clears throat> The risk to reward is way too low because if it goes low, oh man, it, it, it might come down to 50. So I'm going to say it looks good. And then we want to see that nice straight up to the air thing. But <clears throat> personally, if it breaks here, I would be even a bigger fan. But I think if it comes down to 50 again and it starts reversing, that's the good sign. Uh, DAR. Oh, another one here. Okay. D-A-R. Uh, the volume's looking all right. Mm -hmm. I, I might. Um, how much, yeah, this is a good one. It's pretty good. So let's see. Yeah, I'm going to look. Sorry, guys. Just trying to focus and look. I'm liking this one. All right, guys. I, I'm going to say good on this one. I think it's got another day in it. I think it's got a really strong day in it. Good volume we got. It's not coming down. We got everything going in its direction. I'm going to put a DAR on the list. Go to next. Play. Oh, another one. I, I like this one too, man. We, we saved some good ones at the end. Who's giving us these? Dave and Buster's? It's Lori. Lori. Of course it's Lori. Lori helps us out here. I like what you're doing here, Lori. I like what you're doing. It's a very strong candle. Um, huh? That candle is really strong. It is. It is. I'm just trying to see do, how do I feel about it as far as it's breaking right here. So that's my only concern, but the volume is telling me, you know. Hmm. Uh, da, 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 da. What do you think? I, it is a tough one, right? That's here. a tough one, man, but the volume is wow. strong. I'd have to see, Lori, I'm, I'm going to have to see it break that for me to be sure. So, so even if, if it was like 45, if it was at 45, I would say do it, but it, there's no confirmation yet. So we could see it come down again and retest it. Where's your next? Um, P Things could change in a half an hour. Yeah, okay. seriously. P-E-J. P-E-J? All right, P-E-J. And all right, so this one is a very good one, too. Very good one. The issue I have with this one, guys, and again, um, you might want to trade this. I got to I gotta protect the people in this, uh, in this uh, group, and I got to be very safe with my calls here. And I'm going to say I like where your mind's at with this one. The problem is that volume is way too low. It's way too decreasing. Um, there's some good indicators here, but those indicators don't mean anything to me unless the volume is good. And right now, oh, man, yeah, I can't say yes to this one. I'm going to have to wait. What's next? Um, SWCH. Wait, SWCH? Yeah. Uh, this one's a little stretch now. So this one was a, a good one a few days ago. 
But once it gets, you know, once it like breaks here, this was a good place to get in right there. That's a really good one to get in right there. Mm. But yeah. now it's already kind of up there. Yeah, it could go up a little bit, but the, again, you're stretching at this point. It, it, usually things like this, what do they do? They create this little line here. So you're looking for that now to happen. Where to next? Uh, MNTV. MNTV. MNT, okay. I like this one. What do you think? Looks like it's near a resistance. Slightly decreased volume. Sorry if I'm uh, quiet, guys. It's very rare, but I just want to make sure I'm giving you the right answers. It's the anticipation. <laughs> we wait. Um, I'm going to say I think I like it. Touch 18. I think I like it. I think it's good. Yeah, I'm going to say yes to this one. So I like the fact, again, it stops to buy and why, right? So we give you the why. I like the momentum on this. I like the momentum here. The volume is actually pretty good here. So we're seeing still over close to $2 million in volume. And I think, do I think it, I think it could get to a 17 and a half, for, uh, I'm sorry, around 18 for sure. Mm -hmm. Around 18, 18, you know, 17, 80 maybe. And then we could look at it, but I'm gonna say the volume's pretty decent for me to say let's keep yeah, it going. Looking back here. Yeah. Sure. So let's keep. Uh, yeah, we're gonna say good on that one. Um, square. Good. Good call on that. I mean, TV. Uh, ten B. Ten B. So ten B. Oh, a lot of volatility on the ten B. So on this one here, um, again, you could see it's just constantly hitting this line here. Uh, it's already stretched out. Every time it gets stretched out, it doesn't do much. It actually comes down. So it looks good because, but it's really because of this volume, I would say it rode that. I'm going to say no on this one. I think it's too stretched out. I think we might see maybe a little bit of a good day and then that's it. So. BX. What is it? BX. BX. Um, BX, BX, so BX, oops, let's see here. So it's hitting this support, uh, this line here. Um, I think it's close to where, to getting there, but it's not there, yeah. you know? So it's following this trend. And the last thing you want to do is be a part of this trend on the downside. So the volume doesn't really justify it too much right now. There is some good momentum. If it does break, and there's some decent volume. So if it gets to like around 132, that's a different story. I would like it then because then we go into the ABCD pattern. All right, guys. And if you're enjoying the show, man, <clears throat> if this sounds a little gibberish to you, or maybe you want to learn more, or you want to just change your life, the first thing I recommend you do, and if you want to leave your job, you want to spend more time with your family, buy trading stocks. This is not that hard to do. It's obviously you could see I could do make decisions in seconds. We teach you exactly how to do it step by step. So very simple. All you got to do, comment webinar below. So we could send you a one-hour webinar that breaks down my full strategy of how I trade on a weekly basis to make money. Very, very simple. Very, very simple. We got a few more stocks. Don't worry about it, guys. We still got a few more stocks. We're going over time a little bit. And you could be like Kelly Myers, man, just doing its thing. Uh, let's keep this going, guys. We've got some more stocks. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. Uh, wait. What am I looking at here? Did I just uh, put my own screen on there? Oh, hold on. I get confused. You ever get confused in life? For sure. Uh, you do? I didn't know that. You never told me this. What's next? Um, they said Meta. I'm not sure if they meant Facebook. Yeah, they got me on Facebook. Then. Uh, Facebook. Yeah, it's it's uh, Facebook is great. That's a great company. It, it, it supports this algorithm. So we got to be careful what we say. Uh, yeah, I think we should invest all our money and all our house into it. Opposite of that. Uh, yeah. No, I think uh, we, we definitely have some more potential here. I would definitely, uh, yeah, meta ETF. I would not invest in, med, in that one. But you said meta? Yeah. Is there metaverse? Right. Uh, I think you meant uh, meta financial group. No, no, it's the... If you could give me a symbol, man, because there's yeah. just so much of that. I thought it Thank was you, Justin. Better, but... Beeb. Oh, Beeb. Okay, I get it. I feel like this thing. Okay. Join everyone. You won't be disappointed yet. Thanks, Lori. I appreciate that. Yeah. You know, we, we'd love to see new members. Anybody who's interested in getting a 
coaching, just let me know. Comment coaching. Love to talk to you. Uh, play. I think we looked at play. Yeah. Yeah, we already looked at play. I thought it looked pretty good. CRL. And we looked at LRCX. What's the next? CRL. CRL? All right. CRL. CRL. Oof. This is, uh, there's a lot of momentum in these stocks, yeah. man. So it looks like it's coming up, but low volume, man. As much mm -hmm. as I would love to just low volume, and you could see even here, very low volume. Next. Um, CSGP. CSGP. Mm -hmm. CSGP. Same thing. Yeah, same thing. Just not enough volume on these stocks. I just, and I just want to, I know it might look good, guys. I just want to make sure to protect everybody. Not to make the wrong decision here. And then that metaverse one was uh, METV. METV. Mm -hmm. Thank you for clarifying that for for us. Um, <clears throat> I feel like the market's been very bullish, but it's probably taking a little break with volume. Yeah. That's kind of what's happening. I like this one, but the, again, it's too low of volume. This one at this point right now where it's at, we're waiting for it to get to 13, uh, like around here. If it breaks here, this could be a good one. You know, I guess it would be around here. If it breaks, and it's just for your safety, man, because it's just too strong to the downside. At least let's get it past, past the 50 day moving day average. I'll be happy. At least like 13. 13 I would be comfortable with. Obviously, any 14 and up, we're in good shape. You just gotta, you gotta be careful with these things like that. Right? Yes. So, guys, that is the whole list. Again, like I said, I appreciate every single one of you joining. If it's your first time, thank you for joining. Thank you for taking your time out. Really, really appreciate it. We are going to be back here on Thursday. We're going to review some of the plays I picked. Uh, let me give you the plays that uh, the stocks I picked today. They were DAR, Para, Apple. Uh, wait, LAC, Docu, AMX, and MNTV? Mm -hmm. um, MNTV. Oh, and Tesla. Mm -hmm. So I picked a lot. Apple, I got, I'm yeah. Gonna yeah, we're going to write it down. We're going to, um, we're going to send you an email. If we have your email, yeah, great. Yeah, okay. If not, just, uh, let us know if you just comment email below. We could get Dave or Anthony to send it to you. We're going to send you the list. And again, Thursday, we're going to be back here again, okay? So I'm looking forward to seeing you 2 p.m. Eastern. And hopefully, you know, we're going to call out some more plays. We're going to do all that stuff. Again, so far, it's been phenomenal. We are 100% for a reason. And if you're not part of our um, coaching program, definitely I recommend you at least do an interview. There's a lot of people out there who are taking so many losses. they so lost, so lost on what to do on the market, when to get in. Why? And you know what I hear a lot happening? People get in on the market. And for some reason, every time they get in, they get rocked. It's like they have bad luck. It's not bad luck. It's you're just falling into a very um, crazy thing, <laughs> very crazy cycle, which I do talk about in our um, course that we talk about in our memberships, things like that. I strongly recommend checking out what we do um, and setting up an interview. So if you want, if you're interested in getting some coaching, comment coaching below. Uh, what we do is we set up an interview with you. We're actually going to provide you a five module course for free, whether just so you can get a foundation, no matter what, just to give you a good understanding for whatever you decide to do in life. And yeah, we're going to help you out with that. Uh, Hector, uh, guys, if you don't, don't provide your emails in here for security, we're going to delete your call. We're actually Hector, we're going to delete your message because we don't want people sending you things and spamming you just for your security. Just a uh, common email and somebody will send that to you. Yeah, just so you understand, man. We, we want to protect your identity here. Did you delete his message? Yeah. All right. Yeah, Hector. Sorry about that. <clears throat> so anyways, guys, uh, really appreciate every single person here. Again, two things. If you're interested in the webinar, comment webinar below. Someone will get to you. If you're interested in coaching, comment coaching below. We have six six spots now available. Right? You just told me, right? Hey. Eight for April. Eight. Yep. Yeah. Oh, for April, we got eight spots available. Strongly recommend you join. It is very much life changing. Really appreciate all of you guys. I will see you and you and you, all of you, on specifically Thursday. Bye bye.